on YouTube, it's your boy OGT Man. Today, me and my boy Mike, we reacting to rappers react to Young Thug release after mistrial. Isn't that where they like? Mm. Isn't that where like the judge did some shit? Yeah. Mom, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. I heard he was making music still. Why so Rico trial just changed forever. The judge had Young Thug's lawyer, Brian Steele, arrested in the middle of the courtroom today as it all begins with a report of Young Thug's lawyer, Brian Steele, is done with the circus. He's never been this mad, rightfully so. Insanely passionate plea to the judge on behalf of himself and his client after Miss Love accuses him of hiding files from the state. Judge Glam, sir, you allow another moment when Miss Love calls me that I did not do something they have the exact image of what we got from the jail in Fayette County. That is it. And if I get another false allegation and you do nothing, I'm shocked. I'm appalled at you. I sit here day after day with th this false allegation. I ain't gonna lie. You know how what he sound like? I'm appalled. He's, he sound like one of the people who's in period. Talk straight up the... Straight up the wazoo. Straight up the brown hole. <laughs> First train to Brown Town. Just machine. I gave the state everything. There's not been no disconstruction. <laughs> There's been no purposeful. I don't care. I don't care. I give over everything. I've done this for 33 years. Never in my life have I seen a trial. I've done 300 appeals in the state of Georgia alone. I've never read a case like this. Judge, I gave them everything I had. I waited. I was at my office till eight after eight last night. I waited for their investigator to come by. I handed him an exact copy of thumb drive. They have everything that we got. As the evidence that they are discussing here is Brian Steele stating that he has gotten intel from a source that YSL Woody is guilty of taking somebody out. However, only the judge's corner is supposed to know about that for right now. So the judge is about to ask Brian Steele, how in the world did you know about this? Because nobody else in the entire world is supposed to know as of now. Note that for purposes of record. Well, I'm going forward. What I was told was that Mr. Copeland said, and you haven't answered my question yet. I'm not going to answer you, that question. You're not? No, I will not answer that question. Why will you not answer that question? Because I want to make sure that what I say is accurate. I'm not trying no, to... No, 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 no. I'm asking opinion. you, how did you get this information? I'm not telling the court. What I'm saying is based on information. Okay, well, listen, if you don't tell me how you got this information, then you and I are going to have some problems. We can have this. I have problems right now. Okay, I, like I, I know. I, look, I don't, I don't want to know about your problems, okay, at this point in time. All I'm asking you at this point in time is, how did you come upon this information? You're, look, if the case gets reviewed... The record's going to be available for, for 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 our appellate court and for whatever reason. But it's disturbing that how so, somehow you have surreptitiously gotten information in regards to the court's private ex parte conversation with a party. I mean, a I party. Wanna, yes. Witness. This caused a massive argument inside of the YSL trial. It got so bad that it would then even be reported. Here is the moment that Brian Steele was taken into custody for contempt. The deputy whispered in his ear that he wouldn't be cuffed. He was held in contempt for not revealing his source that told him what happened in an ex parte hearing this morning with Lil Woody. Take Mr. Take Mr. Steele into custody, please. Because of the um, whole Y'all don't have to. Yes, sir, you certainly may. Mr. Williams does not wish to go forward without me being here. You are removing me against um, his will, my will. You're taking away his right to counsel. And you're conducting material parts of this trial without me present, and I can't learn about it by watching online. So, for that reason, additionally, I ask for a mistrial. And as marketing leads, that's crazy though. Mm -mm -mm. As right here, Brian Steele is standing on business for his client, Young Thug. Sticking to the literal street code of never snitch, never tell, sources inside of the room even shared that Young Thug was shaking his head up and down, showing that he respects his lawyer for what he just did. Now, while recording the video, it was just announced Brian Steele's jail sentence, and it reads, Young Thug's lawyer has been sentenced to 10 weekends in jail, 20 days, and he asks if the appeal doesn't get him a bond, is he allowed to spend those weekends 
weekends in jail with Young Thug. The judge agreed. This means that Brian Steele will be bunk mates with Young Thug hey. on weekends. Reports would then w come out sharing w Young Thug's co-counsel, Keith Adams, just said that he has the same information as Brian Steele and has now filed a motion for a mistrial. Hip-hop reporters would even share the Young Thug YSL trial is in shambles. Surely this is a mistrial within 24 hours. With even Lil Baby reacting, give Thug his mistrial free slime. Now the mistrial hope will happen for one specific reason and allow me to explain. It's all based on the prosecutors not doing their jobs correctly. It goes and reads, the judge in Young Thug's trial was just arguing with the state because they were unprepared with evidence. That's too late. The evidence is excluded. The evidence is excluded. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to exclude because I told you that this was going to happen. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No, 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 no. And see, this is what this is also why it happened because people being unprofessional, unprofessional, don't make no sense. A mistrial is a trial rendered invalid through an error in the proceeding. So, um, a mistrial is basically a trial rendered invalid through errors in the precinct, which basically means like the um, judge and the exactly, and that's what they arguing about now. But yeah, right here. Yeah. Excluded. The evidence is excluded. I'm gonna exclude. I'm gonna exclude because I told you that this was gonna happen. Uh uh. Uh uh. No 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 no. We're excluding that. This is the last. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I am not gonna tolerate this any further. If you don't get together with your colleagues and flag issues and 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 resolve them promptly, and if I have to take them up, remember, I can exclude them. We'll work the weekends, or we'll do a combination of both. So this time. I'm gonna exclude. I'm gonna exclude. I'm gonna exclude that those two sections. There's nothing. Here. I am not gonna. I am not gonna have any. I'm not gonna have any more discussion about this, madam. I'm not. I don't. Well, you know what? And I attempted to try to talk to them earlier this week. Well, then that's. That well, that's why we have to. I'm not punishing anybody. This then even led into the prosecutors having a meltdown inside of the courtroom where it'd be announced an ex-investigator with the Atlanta Police Department took a stand under cross-examination on Monday in the YSL RICO trial. During one moment, former investigator Lakia got into a brief exchange with Thug's defense attorney, Max. And D'Angelo White's response was, we had... Correct? Yes, he did say that, and it was more to that as well. We had guns and sh Yes, he stated that. Okay. We, being plural, correct? Correct? Are you insulting my intelligence by asking if we means plural? I think you are, though. Okay. I think you are. All right, well, it's Sir, don't put, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. that. <laughs> All right, sir, let's be respectful to our witness. Okay. I'm very respectful, Judge, and I always will. I doubt it. What is happening here is that Young Thug's legal team is arguing that the Atlanta Police Department are trying to lie about evidence against Young Thug. Thug's main lawyer, Brian Steele, even called out the entire Atlanta Police Department for lying about evidence against him. It goes and reads, Your Honor, as my eyes roll, I'm about to show you why I don't believe the city of Atlanta Police Department at all. I have no recording of whom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Detective Lewis at the hospital, Grady Hospital, September 11, 2013, meets with Walter Murphy. And your honor, as my eyes roll out of my head, I'm about to show you why I do not believe the city of Atlanta Police Department at all. This is served in discovery. I will mark it Mr. Williams C and D. And then you tell me if I'm supposed to believe the allegations from the, state of the judge would end up calling out Young Thug's attorneys for stating that the Atlanta Police Department lies about evidence. Because this is an extremely bold claim to make, and it can honestly affect their entire career in the long run, calling out police departments for lying about evidence when their jobs are to follow the law. Well, I can see that. Well, I, I, I'm going to tell you that I haven't heard anything that would indicate that. Well, if he wins the case, that means it's going to open up to like the government and the judges having to like look over certain shit that police departments do and what they take in the evidence because you look into a GSP, I guarantee that. 
They leave, they leave no witnesses, man. Yeah, GSP, I don't know about all that. Crash out. But yeah. I belong among them. That, that's, that's, if, that, if that's the case, then, boy, thug gonna be free. And so many other trials gonna be taken so differently when it comes to weapons and stuff. That shit gonna be crazy. That's truth. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. You, have a, you have a good faith basis to ask that. You haven't heard anything of who he spoke with. That's my point. That's the point. But, 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 but you all can't, but you two, neither one of you can proffer that. Judge. It's, pro, it's not proper, Mr. Steele. No, no, no. Listen. It's not. It, it, it would be a violation before me for you to for you to put that in front of this jury in the September 17, 2000. You are saying to the court that you have a belief that there is another statement out there. There's not. Why? How could you say that? Because there, it hasn't been brought up. If if it if it gets brought up, then we'll correct it at that point in time. But right now. I'm gonna direct you not to not to inquire that line. You don't have a basis to do so. As Young Thug's lawyers are making the claim that they need to lie about evidence against Thug because they literally have no evidence. The one piece of evidence they are trying to get into the case so bad comes from Adrian Bean. The Atlanta police are trying to use evidence against Young Thug that Adrian told them in 2013. However, now in 2024, Adrian says he doesn't remember giving it to them. The original report reads, keep in mind, Adrian is not bound by a plea deal. He was a part of a 2013 crime where four were involved but one escaped and was never caught. They need Adrian to snitch on Young Thug on the stand like he did in 2013, but now he refuses. As the one person that escaped was Young Thug. Adrian originally snitched on Young Thug in 2013 and told the police he was the one that escaped. However, he was never arrested for it due to them not having the evidence at the time. But because the police took over a decade to start the RICO team down of Atlanta, Adrian has now forgot about the crime and who was the one that escaped. After you answer the question, which you have to do, because I don't remember none, nothing that happened in 2013, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. I understand. What I have to do is <laughs> ask you some questions and determine what you do and don't remember. So, what is your response as to whether or not you recognize the images shown in Defendant's Exhibit Number 8? I don't remember. I don't remember. And I'm going to show you Defendant's Exhibit that number that eight. Look. <laughs> Do you recognize what's shown there? No, ma'am. Right. What about number 101 for Defendant Exhibits? You see a car, but I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Is your answer the same for Defendant's Exhibit number 82, number 89, and Defendant's Exhibit 90? Yes, ma'am. Now, lots can happen within 11 years. The crime did occur in 2013. Some sources claim YSL members could have paid Adrian off to not snitch, but others believe that he's telling the truth and that he actually did forget about the crime, as Adrian would go on to reveal why he forgot. I really don't have any knowledge about 2013, ma'am. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. I don't really have any knowledge about 2013. Once I went to prison and came home from prison and done my time, everything that that happened in 2013 or whatever has been put behind me and set forth so i've been you know working and, and just doing my thing since i came home from prison i don't have no knowledge of nothing that happened 10 years ago because without the evidence from adrian bean the only two pieces of evidence they have against young thug in two years of doing the ysl rico case comes from a police investigator who would reveal that Lil Wayne has the same street affiliation as Young Thug. And are you familiar with who this individual is? I am. And who is that? It's uh, Wayne Carter. Okay. And does he have another name that he goes by? He does. Oh, what is it? Lil Wayne. And are you aware of do any of your non-transparence if Mr. Um, Carter, Dwayne Carter, identif self-identifies as a member of... I believe that he does. Okay. Tell the jury if you need to stand with the stick and point to what those identifiers are within Defense Exhibit 31. There's a large MOB across his chest, um, often used particularly by West Coast, but um, is used across the country. 
Um, he has five um, red five-point stars across his chest. As the investigator is trying to prove to the jury that rappers have street affiliation, as the second rapper they would then bring up is YNW Melly, hey, or he hey, would go hey, on hey, to hey, expose hey. that. We're not going to talk about murder madness. Why, why y'all bring him in there? Melly ain't doing nothing wrong. Bro. Oh, God. Now, if he come at the y'all ass, that's going to be on y'all. No, what Kendrick said, I no played in my real friends of not on YNW Melly. Exactly. Melly ain't do shit though. No did it. Melly <laughs> allegedly has street ties connected to Young Thug. Same thing, they used to be uh, slap term, five point star, snake. Yeah. Uh, he's saying he's YSL. He's saying he's the the fuck it do, nigga. And uh, he puts up his YNW. Uh, for like hashtag on it with the uh, white one star as well. Mr. Demons has Is that Jermaine Cole? Jermaine, what you doing with these? Displayed. <laughs> <laughs> right, this individual again. Uh, Jermaine with a glock. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. It's a lot we got to uncover, but that's the end of the video. Jermaine Cole. When I'm not. Don't piss me off. I can't feel wait, myself. Wait, wait, wait. First off, Dirk got fat, bro. Dirk got fat. Everybody over here getting fat. But nah, you know what I can't believe? What? Six rappers who are locked. Don't do that, bro. I'm not Don't do that. that. Look, look, look. These nigga. <sighs> not every day you see a real solid lawyer like this. Respect on God. Damn, his lawyer a real one. This man got to be the biggest lawyer in the world after this case. Nah, bro. Why is hell still? <laughs> Is no one gonna talk about how Melly and Drake was posted up with weapons? Nip, we not gonna talk about that. As a matter of fact, we gonna end this video so I can get to editing. But yeah, um, W lawyer. That's all I gotta say. That this this just judicial system. They judicial? need to get yes, judicial motherfucker. They need to get their shit straight.